I'm going to wait. So you, here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The final fight. That's what it's called. That's what it's billed as. And I'll tell you what, the hers are still stand up on the back of my neck to be in the same room and not that far away from the man Dutch. who's just explained Dutch. what it's all about. Dutch. No one better in the world than Mr. Michael Buffer. Unbelievable. What an end. What a spectacular and amazing way to introduce these two fighters. And he's Maybe. just said it all. He's almost left me speechless. Hi. And that takes some doing. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is what everyone has come to see. This is amazing. Osat Zovko, your fight promoter, bringing this fight together. Impeccable. Amazing. And whatever else this is going to bring us. Merko Crow Cup in. Oh, get time some. Merko just pointed to something there on the floor. I hope they've not had a problem with a loose board. Neutra, neutra, neutra. I think we have a problem with the board. Now, you bear in mind, guys, this is not obviously what we wanted, but I think what's happened is with the fighters earlier on, we had some. Remember, it's been 10, well, this is the 10th fight. Okay. We've okay. had eight fighters. Fight! And I thought there might have just been a gap in the board or something, but no, they called it and said it's all right, so back on. Here we go. Controversy from the start, but not from a, the action, but from the ring. High kick comes in from the south bar from Crocop. Resefo going straight in. Resefo, the Kiwi. These guys are ready for this. Merko Filipovic, Krokop from Croatia, 37, the South Pond, black shorts, red gloves, if you don't already know who he is. Ray Sefo from New Zealand and Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. His hometown was, obviously, was from New Zealand. Well, he says he's been living in over there for 17 years now in America, age 40. Just shows, guys, don't ever write yourself off. And people say to me in this sport, Sandy, I'm 21, I'm 25, whatever, I can't do it. Shut up. This guy's a joint age of 77 years between them. 107 kilos, Crocop, 108, Ray Seppo, and I believe they've never fought each other, don't this is true or not? Fight! And like I said, the fight record is variable. I've been told when I got into the changing rooms, chatting to both fighters. Not winching, not winching. Nice knee, just missing. Yeah. But Ray Seppel told me he's had 91 fights, 54 KOs, 14 losses. Stepping guard right over the top. Maybe very nimble for a 40-year-old. Stop! Not to grinch, not to grinch, OK? So Ray Suffolk has got it all to do in this fight because he's not just fighting the man in front of him, Mirko Kroka. Both guys it's going towards the end of their career. But saying that, we've seen fighters in boxing, different sports go on to the 50 years of age, so I'm not going to write these two off. Season campaign as these two professionals right the way through. End of round one. But well, we didn't get to see too much of what each fighter had. A little bit of pushing and shoving. A lot of respect for each other. But let me just tell you now, these two fighters. Oof, now took on the out, just missed there completely. Off balance. Like I said, a little bit of pushing and shoving going on here. Nice right hander from Crocop. Going for the kick. Boom, nice high kick there. Beautiful. Beautiful uppercut there from Ray Seppo. Backhand, but took on the gloves. Going for that knee. Whoa. That just skinned his eyebrows. Seconds out. Nice backhand punch. So pushing him over. Here we go. 
Round two of a schedule three. Next two round, okay. Ready. And uh, Mr. Crocker, his last, possibly his last fight, but he did say that to me in the changing rooms. I'll tell you what he said later. Very humble man. Oh, big, fast punches from Crocker. That sort of shot, yes, Mr. Seppo. Ray shakes and shuffles his massive shoulders. He's a big man. I'll tell you what, he's in good shape, isn't he, for 40. Never anyone, though, sat on your couches now and you're sat there at 20 years of age with a beer belly. Look at this guy at 40. Come on. There's two of you. And I mean, when I say two of you, I mean two times older. You know what I mean? take something from it you don't have to become a fighter guys get to a Thai Not boxing gym a kickboxing gym MMA whatever Stop. just go and do a workout and you, honestly you will never get a better buzz in your life no drugs no Thanks. alcohol no smoking nothing will ever give you the feeling as what these guys get and we get from doing our sport yeah you don't have to be a fighter just get to the gym but and I mean a big but when you get to this level and these guys just going to a nice kick takes him down when it gets to this level, the buzz you get from getting in the ring is indescribable, and especially when you get to this level of these two. Talk about been there, done it, seen it, had the T-shirt, at the pie, they've done everything between them, these two guys. Not to green not to green Stop! Stop! Not to green OK? Between them, just short of 200 combat fights they've had between Wait. them in Thai, kickboxing, MMA, probably every combat sport you can mention. And two big hitters as well. Not to there warning them, no clinching. The Japanese referee, Atush Omadi, talking, talking to him, golding him. Golding Mirko Arno, do you know what? I don't think that'll work. Because Mirko Kroka is not one. He does not do the talking. In the ring, he does all the walking. But Ray's come to put a show on as well. Stop. Remember, these fights aren't just fights, they are shows too. We all Not like a bit of showmanship. Okay. Not to okay? <laughs> <laughs> referee says no clinching, and he said, Who's clinching? <laughs> Front kick goes in from Ray, overhand. Oh! Turns his back. Okay. Wait. I'll tell you what, I don't know if it's you or me, but these seconds seem to be going quicker. Not for these two, I suppose, in the ring. Stop. Wait. Is that blood from the nose of Mr. Seffos? And there's a bit of claret. Could quite tell. Oh, the cornermen go over the top ropes. Not the green jing. Not the green jing. No clinching, though. Yeah, yeah. And Mr. Atushi Onadi tells him of no clean, nice takedown kick there. That got the crowd going. Watch this. Boom, down he goes. And that will not do the pride. The pride's written on the glove of Mr. Seffo, any good at all. Well, Osat Zovkov should be proud of himself. This is going out to 70 countries, to millions of people worldwide. And we've just had some amazing fights tonight. And obviously, this is the main event. The final fight, as it's called, and it is the final fight tonight. It's the tenth fight on the card. Mirko Filipovic Krokop versus Ray, the Sugar Man Sefo from New Zealand and America. This is what it's all about. 1998, he came to fight in kickboxing. 2012, 14 years on, and he's back to his roots. There were 30 MMA fights in between UFC and Pride. Two times Grand Prix final in Tokyo, Japan, 2000 and 2001. Mr. Crow Cup, for anybody who used to follow K1, you'll know Grinchy. all about him. Same as Ray Seppo has been there. In the K1 and many other fights, fighting Muay Thai as well. Very much more, no more to be the striker. But right now, he's getting involved with a lot of clinch. Maybe better if this had been a Thai boxing fight for him, but this is not, this is K1 style. And you're only allowed to kick and punch. Ooh, nice, solid body shot. 
Well, is it going to go an extra round? Because to me, there's nothing much between these two fighters. I'd love to see an extra round. Is that after everyone's waited so long for this fight, and I mean this, the Zagreb Arena. Beautiful stadium. So Only four years old, packed to capacity. Great okay. crowd here today. Ah. Again, that clinching. Oof. Solid shots. Going to the knee to the head, Ray on the ropes. Is it Ray doing the rope a dope? And he nods, he smiles and rubs the blood from the nose of Ray Seffold. Let's go, whoa! <laughs> He's enjoying it. He's saying, come on, he's loving it. Do you know what? Stop, stop, stop. This is what we love to see. And fighters love the game. Remember, this is the best place to fight inside the rings, not on the street. Don't be a nutty or a muppet. Have a drink and a fight, have a pint and a fight. That's not what it's about. It's between these four ropes. Stop. Or in the cage, Great. if that's what you fancy. Do it like a gladiator, do it like an athlete, do it like a sportsman, and do it like Ray Seffo, and do it like Mirko Krokop. This is brilliant. www.fightchannel.hr, you're featuring this. Eurosport around the world, everybody, if you're watching this, everyone. And the urge of on, 45 seconds left in this fight. Mirko Krokop, the Croatian. Ray, the Kiwi, and the American Seppo. Blood from the nose, but it's stopping him from doing nothing. He forges forwards. Wipes the blood with his gloves. Blood and pride. So is this going to go an extra round? We've got 15 seconds on the bell, on the sorry on the stopwatch before the bell. Not Bridget, not Bridget. The referee again tell him not to clinch. They want to fight, and he explodes again. Well, that's a tough one to call, but you know what? Stop! Stop! A tough one to call, but now I don't want to go. Obviously, you know we we go down the hometown route, but. I do think that Mirko just did enough. And while we're deliberating, while the judges are coming out with that, I'm just going to tell you what Mr. Mirko Krokop said to me in the dressing room. I said, hello, sir. I said, I've got some stats on you. I've got this, I've got that, I've got the other. I said, would you like to say anything just in case this is your final fight? And you know what he said to me? He said, in a very calm and very good English accent, too. Better English uh, than many people I've ever spoken to. And certainly a hundred times better than my Croatian. He said, what it is, is I've had a lot of time out with fights, with injuries. And really, I would like, if I could, to not get in more injuries, he said, because some of them have been bad. He's had, he's, seven times he's had surgery in fights, and he said that he would like to carry on fighting, and he just wants to please the fans and everyone who supported him over the years. And he said, it's, barring the injuries, he said, and any surgery, he will carry on. And that's what he said. And, I, and you know, I, that's all the words. He didn't want to give any predictions, anything. Well, a great handshake there and a nice hug. But, you know, I think Merkel will probably get it just because he did a little bit more, a bit more kicking, um, going for the knees. It's not a boxing contest. I did feel that Ray just did a little bit too much boxing and not enough kicking on knee. But let's hear it. The one and only. Ladies and gentlemen, after three exciting rounds, the scorecards are in, and the winner by unanimous decision, the fighting pride of Croatia, well, oh, Michael Buffer says it best, he is the man. And I'll tell you what, Ray Seppo, he knew it. Well, and a round of applause for the legendary fighter, the charisma.